guys, it's me and today I am here to talk about my period once again. So if you're not familiar with this series for the last, well this is my third month, I've been basically once a month reviewing my period using different alternative menstrual products. Two months ago in the month of August, I reviewed the Things Panties, which I will leave a link to that video up here and then also below this video if you're interested in checking that out. Last month I did a review of the Diva Cup, which I will leave up here and also link that video below this video as well. And this month I'm here to talk about cloth pads. I almost called these cloth diapers because I used to cloth diaper and that's kind of what I think of and it's basically the same concept just for adults. But yeah, this month I'm trying out cloth pads. Last month's video I asked you guys what you wanted to see in the next video and a lot of you guys either suggested cloth pads as the next product I try because you were interested in learning more about them or you yourself were a cloth pad user and you thought that I would should try them just to see if I like them. So I took your request to heart and that is what we did this month for my period for October. I bought two different sets. I went to every single website that you guys sent or left below in that comment section last month and I checked out a bunch of different pads. When it came to picking out my first pads to try, I wanted two different things. I wanted affordable and accessible. Like I said, I checked out all of the links you guys sent me. A lot of the links that were to Etsy sites or to private you know, sellers, they actually did not have anything in stock. They were kind of like a, we're too busy right now, so we're made to order, we're behind on orders, or things like that. So they weren't very accessible to me, so I wasn't gonna share a pad that I was using with people if they weren't gonna be able to buy these from that person because they weren't accessible. So I didn't really feel comfortable reviewing those pads because I wanted to make sure that these were gonna be pads that like you guys could purchase if you saw this video and wanted to. Um, so that was one thing. And then some of the pads that you guys suggested, I felt like like some of you would think were way too expensive and also since I had never used a pad before I didn't really want to like commit commit to spending so much money on a set before I knew if I actually liked them or if they would work for me. Lo and behold the world of Amazon had exactly what I was looking for in this right price range and they were Amazon Prime. So the first set I bought came in a set of three. They were these right here. As you can see, I've actually used this one already. You'll see in a few minutes. Uh, so it is a little bit dirty in the center. I thought they were super cute. So that's kind of what attracted me. I love the price. They came in a set of three. Like I said, these are the super plus ones. These are for like medium to heavy days. They actually called these the overnight ones. They are rather long. I will admit that a lot of the times when I used to suffer from really heavy, heavy bleeding, like I'm talking heavy bleeding because of my endometriosis, I would wear the overnight super pads all day long. Like they were the only pads that I could wear. So I did get these just because I wanted them I just wanted to see what they were like and also because this is what I would sleep in if I were just sleeping in a pad. So these came in a set of three like I said and they also came with this really cute wet bag. This is great for putting used ones in or ones that you've already washed um, and also it's great for like carry discreetly in like your diaper bag or your book bag or your bag or your travel bag or put on your counter or behind the toilet or you know things like that for your used pads. So I thought that was cool that it came with its own little wet bag. These are made out of PUL waterproof uh, fabric which is the outside part right here. The inner part is made out of bamboo and the middle part is made out of microfiber. So these do have natural fibers in them. They're super soft. That's what also attracted me to them. And again the price was really really good and they had great reviews and ratings online. So I bought this three pack set with this bag for $20.99. They shipped free Amazon Prime and they originally are $32.99. So I'll leave the links to these underneath this video. The other set I bought came in a pack of five. So I did get five of them. Two of them are dirty right now and two of these were dirty because I just had my period and were using, was using them for this video. So these came in a set of five and these are panty liners is what they're called. So not only are they shorter as you can see but they're also just a tiny bit thinner. The biggest difference though is that they're shorter. So they are a little bit thinner and they are shorter. Uh, these I bought for $16.99 for a pack of five. And these are by We Greco. These have charcoal bamboo inner layers. So these also have a natural fiber in them. These are actually also offered in longer versions. Like if you needed a longer one, I wish that these were offered in shorter versions because I would totally buy it because I love the way they look. I love the way they felt. And I also like the thickness of them. But yeah, so I bought one for overnight and for also heavy to medium days. And then I also bought the panty liner ones as kind of to try as a backup to my Diva Cup or for my 
my light spotting days. Uh, both sets were super affordable and again that's kind of what I wanted to try out as I was testing the waters of cloth pads to make sure that they were something that I was going to stick with and something that I really liked. I feel like cloth pads are kind of like cloth diapers. It's like a wormhole that you can fall into and suddenly spend hundreds of dollars on and you're not then not really saving money at all. So I just wanted to be careful with what I was spending my money on um, before I figured out if I wanted to buy more. So before you use these you have to wash them like you would cloth diapers. You have to wash them numerous times. I looked on a few different websites and the basic consensus with natural fibers like bamboo were to basically wash them in super hot water uh, with just a little bit of detergent and then do a double rinse in hot water, dry them, and then repeat the process but without detergent the next three times to four times uh, with hot water. So the more times you wash them, I guess the more absorbent they were. Um, kind of similar to cloth diapers, like I said. So that's basically what I did. So I'm not gonna talk about right now um, how my overall consensus on these, because that is the whole purpose of these videos. If you're not familiar with the way that I do these videos, I kind of wanted to do a day by day just to show you my real life experience with them. A lot of people really love that. I maybe got one or two negative comments on my last two videos, which I think is pretty impressive considering there's like hundreds of comments on both of those videos but the two negative comments one said that they didn't feel like I should be making these videos since I'm not experienced at using these products but that's the whole purpose I, I feel like about this video is I wanted people to see firsthand what a newbie to these alternative products you know felt like how they dealt with them how, what they thought about them because for me it just made it feel more relatable I wanted to be able to relate to those other people who were kind of like naysayers of this type of thing you know um, I wanted people to know like I was fully against cups and, and bleeding into underwear and stuff but this is what changed my mind kind of so if you're looking for an experienced person with menstrual products that's definitely not me I'm just trying these products and telling you how I feel and how they worked out for me um, so that was one negative comment and the other negative negative comment was somebody said my video was too long. If you know me and you follow me on my channel, the last five years I've just been the lo longest long-winded person in the world. I am long-winded, I like to talk, I like to make sure I get my point across and I'm understood, so I talk too much. That's just me. These videos pan through my entire experience on my period, so whether that's a two-day, three-day, four-day, five-day, seven-day cycle, that is what I'm filming. So I just want to say that if you're not interested in hearing me babble, if you're not interested in my inexperience but my real life experience with these things, then you know maybe this isn't the video for you and you should go check out somebody who dedicates their video, their channel to um, reviewing menstrual products. I, like I said, I'm just a first time user of these and I wanted to show you guys how I felt about them as a first time user and if I really thought that they worked. I'm gonna leave you right here so you guys can watch my period for October basically. And yeah, I will come back later at the end of the video like I normally do and kind of tell you my general consensus and um, my overall thoughts on this product. Again, I want to warn you, there is real period blood in this video. Just like with my other two, I show you guys everything. I talk about everything. Periods are no big deal. Every woman around the world has experienced them at some point of their life. I do not feel like there should be this weird stigma or taboo about them, especially just like the blood itself. You know, it's just a natural part of life. If they weren't around, then literally life would not exist. People would not exist if we did not menstruate. So I just want to say that like, I don't, th I think all this is natural. I don't think it should be shamed or anything like that. So, um, but yes, I do show my real period blood. So if you're not interested in seeing that, there will be a link underneath this video for you to click to skip to the end part if you want to just hear me talk about how I felt about the, the pads themselves. So enjoy. So it's 10.59 right now. I'm on day one of my period. I actually wore my Thinks underwear around today because I knew it was going to start soon, but I wasn't sure. So last night I slept in my Thinks underwear and then today I slept in my Thinks, or and then today I walked around in my Thinks underwear just because I didn't want to wear a pad. I have actually haven't worn a pad in like two or three months. Three months now? This is my third month not using pads. I'm also wearing my Diva Cup right now. But anyways, so I started off the day wearing my Things panties just in case I started. And while we were at Costco around five o'clock, I started bleeding and I've been continuously bleeding. It's not super heavy. At least I don't know. I have to check. But I wasn't super heavy earlier. So I probably was in my, just my Things underwear until like eight or nine p.m. So about like an hour ago and then I decided to put my cup in because I was getting heavier. Anyway, so right now I'm going to test out one of these pads um, because like I said in my video, previous videos, 
I have expensive sheets right now and a new mattress, so I am not going to test these out overnight by themselves. I'm going to use the super long um, bamboo one, and I'm just going to use it with my Diva Cup to see just how comfortable they are to sleep in and how much they move around at night. And then if I do bleed outside of my cup, then hopefully this will catch it. But for now, tonight, I'm just going to wear this just in regards to seeing how comfortable it is and again, how much it moves around on my underwear since there's no stickiness on the back to kind of like adhere it from moving around while I roll around because I roll around a lot when I sleep. So I don't know why I feel so weird showing you guys my clean underwear. This is what it looks like in. It snaps on this side. So I have the snaps on the outside and then this is will go up against my vagina. So the, yeah, that'll go up and catch all the blood. So I'm gonna see what it feels like on. They feel pretty like, I don't know, it feels pretty like secure. We'll see. Don't mind the mess in the background, but this is what they look like on. You, there's more of a bunch back here. Like, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of a bunch and then there's a bunch right here. Um, so I don't know what it will look like with jeans on. I'll try that on tomorrow, but so they do kind of pooch out, but they kind of just feel like a super pad, like a super plus pad. It's not necessarily like overwhelming. So I don't know, I guess. I guess that's okay. They're definitely not as comfortable as the Thinx underwear just because there is that bunch, like I'm sitting on them right now and then there there is that bunch, but it, it really does just feel like it's not any bunchier than if I were wearing a thick pad, like an overnight pad that I normally would wear. So I guess that doesn't really bother me, but since I haven't been wearing pads for the last two periods, it's kind of odd having this like bunch down there. I do actually prefer the feeling of the soft material up against my skin than say a regular pad. So that is a plus, I do like that. It's 11, 12 right now. I have my cup in, I emptied it and reinserted it because I think I had it in wrong because it was like cramping me. Now it feels good though. So I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll check in with you guys in the morning. It's 11, 15 on Saturday. I was going to update you guys when I woke up about how last night went with the cotton pad or the bamboo pad. But me and John overslept and relate to why it's soccer the, game. I turned all the alarms off because they kept just going off over and over again. <laughs> Which they went, were going off so we could wake up to get to our son's soccer games. So last night I actually slept pretty comfortably. I didn't feel like, I, I woke up and totally forgot I was on my period. Like I said, I had the Diva Cup in and I had the pad. The pad did not really move around. It didn't move around at all. It was comfortable to sleep in. I'm wearing it right now by itself with some skinny jeans. I will say that I definitely can feel it. Like I feel like I have a diaper on and I don't know if that's because it's necessarily super like because it's super bulky or the fact that I have been wearing those things underwear so it's like a huge difference to like have something down there again. Yeah so I can feel it. You can't see it through my pants though but I am right now wearing it by itself. Uh, I didn't have any leaking or anything from the Diva Cup last night. I love that thing. Um, so yeah, so as of right now, I'm, like I said, riding dirty, got nothing in there, just gonna flow on to the cotton pad and see how I do. So far, it's been probably an hour and 15 minutes that I've been wearing it. We'll see how it does, and we'll see if it moves around, but I'll check it in a little bit after I kind of see what's going on down there. God, I look like death right now. What is wrong with me? So it is 2.02, and I don't know if it's the weather or the fact that I'm on my period or what, but I am just like exhausted. I've been laying on the couch for the last hour and I'm trying to like fake sleeping or recreate the like, you know, like how my body acts when I'm sleeping. I have done absolutely nothing today. I fell asleep on the couch. I'm only wearing the pad, like I said, and I fell asleep on the couch while I was trying to mimic sleeping <laughs> since I don't want to wear this to bed. I don't want to ruin our new mattress and new sheets. So I slept on our brand new cream sofas instead. I, so, I don't know. I slept for about, I want to say an hour, and I've been in this bamboo jumbo pad. There's a clean one. I've been in this one since 10 o'clock this morning. So I've been in it for eight and a half hours. Now granted, for the last three and a half hours, I've been either laying down horizontally or sitting. So I haven't been like moving around active, but I have been in this pad for eight and a half hours now. Let's uh, get our first glimpse of what it looks like. I will say when I was at the restaurant this morning having brunch after my son's soccer game, when I pulled down the thing, there was blood in there. I pulled my underwear back up. It wasn't uncomfortable by any means. Like it, it actually was more 
comfortable pulling a wet that one wet back up and wearing it again than it was the Thinx underwear. Usually with the Thinx I have to do a swipe of it and then throw it in the, you know, do a swipe with toilet paper and it still feels a little bit cold slash wet until kind of like for a few minutes to my body like adjust to like to the underwear if that makes sense. This I didn't have any of that. Uh, so that was cool. Again, I've been bleeding only into this pad. Oh, I will mention when I was pulling back my underwear up at the restaurant, um, I wasn't the pad is like bunched up it, it like so it did this kind of like bunchy thing like this which is fine but when i took off my underwear i was pulling back up it kind of went like this and it rubbed like when i was pulling my underwear back up it did this like foldy thing and it rubbed on my thigh and i definitely got blood like on the inside of my thigh that i, I like had to wipe off and all of that so it was a little bit messier than the things underwear but yeah so let's go ahead and check out to see what it looks like down there all right very whoa okay so i want to show you guys this in the underwear even because i don't know how to explain it any other way i definitely got like i made sure to get lighter like fleece or bamboo like insert area so that way you guys can actually see the blood this time because i with things underwear obviously the black you couldn't like see how much i was bleeding into it i would call today a medium day for me it's definitely not a heavy day but i'm getting there like right now i'm starting to become heavy and then tomorrow will probably be my heavy day but this is like medium bleeding for me so with the underwear this is what the blood looks like it definitely if you see this is so weird. I will never get used to doing this, guys. As you can see, it actually is supposed to be like spread out way more. Like it's supposed to be open and spread out. And what ended up happening, so like all of that side is clean because it was bunched up and this was like what was up against my private area. And so the blood actually got on the outside of there. Luckily though, it didn't like leak onto the like actual wing of it. Like there's no leaking on the wing and my pants are still like clean, but it did stop the blood. It looks like the blood pooled right here and that's where all the blood was and it had nowhere else to absorb to. So then it started spreading out to the wing. So I would say that like pads do a little, like disposable pads do a little bit better of a job compared to this uh, by staying kind of flat up against there. Like this just seemed to like bunch in the center. And I thought these were pretty narrow. I mean, they're not like, they're pretty narrow. But again, like my crotch area is not that wide apparently. Like it's just like it went, it did like this thing like this where this part was up against and this wasn't so it stayed clean. So I'm going to switch out. I'm gonna put one of these, a new one back on. Rinse this out. I'll show you guys how I rinse it out and stuff. But I'm impressed. I mean, I mean I've been in it for eight and a half hours and I haven't gotten anything on my under, on my jeans. Um, maybe if I would have like switched it out or checked it like two and a half hours ago or switched it out after four hours, I wouldn't have had that leakage over the wing, but now I know. I just wanted to see how long I could stay in it for you guys. So this time I'm really going to try to like keep this smoothed out, see if I can get it to just like not bunch in the center. Um, but it, they are comfortable, I will say that. They did want to mention a few things. So this is what it looks like. I don't know why this looks like, it looks like death to me. I don't know why. So as you can see, there's like some blood. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of blood right here. This is from where my thigh kind of rubbed up against like the blood earlier, I guess, if that makes sense, and kind of got on there. I realized though why all of the liquid went to the right and there's none on the left. It's because I totally slept on my right side on the couch. So I think that's why all the blood pooled that direction. So I that's like, Na that's like normal and natural and honestly if you're wearing like a disposable pad I think that it would have still leaked over to the right anyways that's why the wings are there for protection so I am pretty like impressed that none of the blood got through the actual wing here though so it didn't get on anything I have a combination of really dark blood from like earlier when I wasn't you know bleeding super heavy and then light blood because my period picked up today so I think that was a good true test for my first pad when I sleep I do tend to be a back sleeper slash slide sleeper and my blood tends to go backwards like towards my butt not towards my front so I do like these long pads because I think that that's very helpful for me as somebody who again bleeds backwards so I know that like the back of my 
underwear and then like my sheets will be safe because they're super long so i do really like these i like i said i just wish they weren't so bulky like that's where i would totally prefer the thinks underwear is that i like that the thinks are less bulky but definitely do like these on their own whereas the thinks underwear when i'm bleeding heavy i feel like they need to be with a tampon or with a cup i'm gonna rinse this one out real quick and i'll show you guys how to do that i didn't show you how i washed out the thinks underwear i will show you this one so i'm just gonna rinse it under cold water um, and try to scrub it together to get this, the excess blood out. If I have toothpaste or hair on the sink, I'm sorry. This is more gross though, I think, so hopefully that won't bother you. I guess they just say to like rinse it and scrub it. They also suggest maybe using like a mild detergent as well and doing kind of a pre-wash and then soaking it in cold water if you don't want it to stain. But I don't feel like I don't want to do that. You know what I'm super impressed with right now is I just soaked this and this side is still dry. Like this totally is holding moisture so well. As you can see, like the blood is coming out. The water is a little bit murky. It's not a huge deal. I mean, it's my own blood. It doesn't really bother me. But again, like this backside that's waterproof is really holding up. That's amazing. Like there's a lot of blood in here. That's, I'm like amazed right now. Wow, this thing was holding a lot of blood. And like even to the stillest point, like it, like, oh my gosh, like it's really absorbent. Yep, I'm gonna just say it right now. These definitely win for being more absorbent than the Thinks underwear in regards to wearing them on their own. I'm not a professional cloth pad uh, washer. So if I'm doing this wrong, don't judge me. I'm just doing what I saw online. This is my first time. It got out like all of the new blood. It looks like the old blood took a while. It's gonna take like, I mean, it's darker. It's not gonna come out as well. Um, like I said, they do suggest like pre, like just soaking. Like some people suggest soaking it in a detergent water, like cold water until you're ready to wash them. It's kind of a way to like get those stains out. I honestly don't mind the stains. I feel like nobody's gonna be looking at them but me, so I'm not gonna take the time to do that. It doesn't bother me. So what they suggest doing after you're done cleaning them is to wrap them back up this time doing it like this way and then like this and then clipping them closed so that way you can't even like see any of the blood so like if you were to be changing your pad out in public and say you couldn't go to the sink like you didn't want to rinse your period soaked pad in the sink in public you would just fold it up like this and then put it in that little wet bag pouch that they sold with this one you can also buy those online they're sold everywhere i actually have like a leftover large wet bag from when i cloth diapered so i would hang that in the bathroom um and just throw this in there so you would just throw it in like your little wet bag in your bag when you're out in public but you fold it up like this so you didn't see the blood so that's what i'm gonna do with this one and i'm honestly just gonna throw this down the laundry chute like this because i'm about to go downstairs and do a load of my things underwear that I've been wearing for my like I thought I was gonna start my period days so I'll just go ahead and wash this with it so yeah so clean one dirty ones I definitely after rinsing all this blood out hands down hands down these are way more absorbent than the things underwear I would feel completely confident having one or two of these in my bag going out for the day with just this on like I would feel super confident doing that I really really don't like how bulky they are but that's just a super pad. Super pads are bulky. That's just what happens. These are way more absorbent and I can totally see why people are like cloth pads. I can wear them all day and not worry about it without, you know, a tampon or a cup. So, um, yeah, I definitely, definitely like that about these. So I'm going to go about the rest of my evening in this pad and then I'll check in later. So it is 10 18 PM. I am actually going to go to bed because I have a race tomorrow morning uh, at the early early morning so i'm going to check in with this pad and see how it's doing this is what about two hours looks like two and a half hours it's held up pretty well and it didn't leak over here i think again that's because i wasn't laying on either side it's like more even this time it is still though favoring one side because it does bunch up in the center but I mean, it was super absorbent. It didn't leak out the other side and it was pretty comfortable. Pretty like awesome. Like I probably could have lasted a few more hours bleeding into this. I'm gonna smell this, you guys. I don't know why, but I hate smelling period anything, but I'm gonna smell this just to like tell you guys whether or not like I feel like they're extra stinky. From this distance, I can't smell anything, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, I will say with the Thinks panties, 
it wasn't like gross or overly odorly it was like equal to like what a pad would smell like this cloth pad actually smells less than both of like a disposable or the things so there's like less odor there which I think is kind of cool right now I have my diva cup in because I am going to sleep and I put one of these on so I wanted to wear this one just to like see how it moved around at night too so I could tell you guys about that in the morning so far this one's pretty comfortable it doesn't feel as bulky as the other one of course um, which is nice but I'm just wearing it as a backup to my diva cup because I want to sleep comfortably tonight since I do have to wake up super early tomorrow to run <laughs> 7 15 in the morning i'm so tired so i actually took off i forgot to update last night but i took off the short pad with the fleece in it the flowers and i switched it out for the long pad that was gray because i just did not feel comfortable in it it kept moving around and i kept having to readjust it it just kept sliding all about and it would bunch up even more and like just wasn't didn't feel like it was effective i went to the bathroom and i actually had put my cup in wrong which the cup is kind of trial and error right now still for me since this is the second month i'm using it i still sometimes put it in wrong and so it was leaking and so i just it was not it was not working so i think for right now i do prefer the long one i feel like it's more secure it stays in place um there's a little blood in it. There's just like a little red dot though. So I will say that I do uh, prefer the long one right now. Um, so I will be wearing another long one. I did wash last night. I'll be wearing another long one to my race tonight to this morning um, with my Diva Cup just to see how it does in regards to when I'm running, if it's comfortable and when I'm active and stuff. I already know that it's super absorbent. So now I want to test out to see how much it moves while I'm in a high intensity type of activity. So, yeah. So tired right now. Oh. So I wanted to quickly just show you guys what the pad looks like after I washed it. Um, again, I didn't do probably as much pre-soaking and all of that to get the stains out, but it is just a little bit stained with blood right there. If I were to, not if, when I buy more of these, I'll probably get one that has like a darker, lining right here but yeah that doesn't bother me though like nobody's gonna be looking at my pads like this except for the entire internet <laughs> um and when i you know carry them on me i'm gonna have them folded like this so you can't see them so yeah i mean so yeah and they smell like nothing like they smell really good and i know that probably just like freaks some of you guys out that i just shoved that in my face but it's my blood so whatever we'll just have this as a backup i really hope it doesn't look super bulky though because my running shorts are not very forgiving when it comes to that. Honest opinion, can you see like a bulge or anything yeah, on my But No. Really? Yeah, you can feel it though. Like yeah. can you see that though? Uh, now that you felt it, can you yeah. see it? I'm trying, I don't. Really? Yeah, 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 we'll over in the light. Stop moving. No, it looks fine. Does it sure? Yeah, your booty cheeks are hiding it. But I feel like, like there is. This part it's, comes out further than this really? part. Really? Because I feel like it's surpassing my booty cheeks. No. <laughs> like, you know that scene in Ace and Turo when he finds the big guy? When it comes out of the rhino? No, in the first one, when he's like showing that the detective woman is actually a man. It's not Lois Einhorn! If the lieutenant is indeed a woman, she is suffering from the worst case of hemorrhoids I have ever seen! That's what I feel like I look like right now. We're done with the run. It's 10.36. I don't know if you can see that. The pad stayed in place really nicely. I will say that I did end up like yanking it to the front of my underwear quite a bit because as I was in the bathroom, I was looking in the mirror and to the side there was a bulge out of my uh, sh running shorts. And I'm just wearing these like Nike lightweight like running shorts. So there was, there's not a lot of like forgiveness when it comes to like bulkiness back there. Um, so you could see like this little bulge back there. So I, I did, like I said, I pulled it towards the front so it was more up in my pubic bone area and less on my bottom, but it still covered my under there just in case I leaked. Um, I did leak a little bit from my Diva Cup, but I don't know if it's my Diva Cup or if it's um, just like stuff that was already coming out from when I put it in, if that makes sense, because I put it in while I was in the shower this morning. I will say though, I did not feel my Diva Cup at all today. I know this review is not about the Diva Cup, but just for people who saw my review of it last month, 
I really, really like it. I've gotten used to it. I'm still getting the hang of like getting it in the right way the first time, but I didn't feel it at all while I was running. I don't feel it at all right now. Like other than having a pad on, I wouldn't even think that I was on my period. Like if I had my things underwear on, I'd just be like, I'm good to go. Like it just, it's amazing. These long ones though, I absolutely love. And I think that they were awesome for my run because they were so long, they just stayed in place. You know what I mean? Like there was not really anywhere else for them to go, but they were super comfortable. And I really think that I probably could have run the whole race just with that and not even with my cup. But again, I really like having my cup and like having that assurance that nothing's gonna leak out. I do, I do like the pad and it held up during my running. So that's good. And I did about 3.14 miles today. So, um, so it was like 20 something minutes of me being, you know, heavily active. All right, guys, update. It is October 3rd, Monday at 511. I've been wearing this pad for probably, I want to say at least six hours now. And it's doing really, really well. When I tried sleeping in it, it wasn't really great. It was like moving around. It didn't feel secure. I didn't feel like it was covering what I needed to cover. I wanted to try it again and give it another chance before I totally wrote it off. But as a panty liner, like wearing it throughout the day, it actually has stayed in place really nicely. And I haven't been wearing my cup or anything. This is just like, I would say I'm light bleeding. Like I'm consistently bleeding. Definitely not spotting. I'm consistently bleeding, but at a slow pace. So as a panty liner goes, I really, really like these. Like it, it stayed in place. Um, there's no weird foul smell coming from them. It's like, they worked really, really well. So yeah, I'm glad I gave it another chance. So I do want to see how this feels when I pull it back up while it still has like blood on it, like if it's still just as comfortable. Um, so I did just take some toilet paper real quick and I wiped off um, some of the moisture, which I would do with the, any type of thing, the Thinks Underwear, the other uh, bamboo ones, like I would do that in any way. So I just did a quick swipe with some toilet paper and I'm pull these up and see how they feel. They had that initial like wet, cold feeling, um, but again, nothing different than what I would feel from a normal pad or my things underwear I really it feels fine like I feel like some people are like oh I just hate that feeling of wetness down there but even if you were in a normal pad at least in my experience I always still felt wet it's just something that like after a few minutes you just like forget about or it goes away so that doesn't bother me I think they're comfortable I'm gonna continue wearing this one um, because it's not super soaked and I do want to like test it to its full capacity so I'm gonna finish wearing this one for a few more hours I don't know if that's gross or not I mean I think it is kind of gross uh, just because I would normally change it out if I were sitting there for that long but this is for testing so I'm gonna just hold on to it and just keep bleeding into it and let you guys know um, but so far like it feels it feels fine what does that say about me that I haven't peed in six hours? Does that mean I'm dehydrated? I should probably drink some more water. But I'm really glad I gave these another try because like I would have like not used them and I really actually don't mind them. I like them actually. So um, not great for sleeping, but so far for daytime um, light bleeding, light continuous bleeding, it works really well. All right, so you guys still with me? Did I scare you away from this video yet? <laughs> so I kind of cut off there and didn't finish vlogging my period only because there was really nothing too exciting going on. After that last clip of me using the panty liners, like I didn't, there was nothing exciting. I It was like using just like a regular pad. I didn't bleed over. My period basically tapered off the next day. I, <sighs> Diva Cup is kind of ruining my whole like series right now because my periods used to be super heavy and super long and super unpredictable. But since I started using the Diva Cup, no joke, my periods have become so much lighter and so much shorter that it's just like incredible. So I'm sad because I didn't get to show you guys like a super heavy day for me. I would say that my heaviest day, like I said, was probably that first day when I was in second day. And even though it didn't look like a lot of blood in the pad, as I was washing washing it out that first time, there was tons of blood in there and I could feel the whoosh, whoosh, whooshing the whole time I was wearing it. So I'm pretty positive I was bleeding pretty heavy um, during those clips, but it just didn't look super heavy in the pad because the pad was just so absorbent. Like when I started washing it out, it was like blood everywhere. So that's why I stopped vlogging the rest of my period because after um, that day with the panty liners, I basically just wore them while I lightly bled, I didn't even wear my Diva Cup. Like from then on, I didn't put my cup back in. I just had a little bit of light bleeding and then my period stopped. 
So my general consensus, as you guys can probably already tell, is that I absolutely love cloth pads. I think that they work really well. The ones that I got for what I needed worked super well. These panty liners, I'm so happy that I gave them another try because honestly, they worked really well for the daytime use. Would I wear them at night though, however? No, I really don't think I could wear these at night. Like I said, I just felt very unsecure with them. They kept moving around while I was sleeping. Um, I definitely, when I'm, when I'm relying on just a pad, I definitely prefer to have like a full heavy pad on. I know that seems silly, but because I am so irregular and sometimes I have heavy periods and sometimes I have light periods, I always like to be prepared. So I will always probably wear a bigger pad like this if I'm just in a pad sleeping. If I'm wearing my Diva Cup, I will always wear my Thinx underwear or a pad like this. Like I just feel more comfortable being safe. So these definitely were not overnight by any means. Um, they just weren't comfortable, they kept moving around. But just during the day, running around with my skinny jeans on or my yoga pants or my shorts, like having like, I should probably mention that I don't sleep with pants on. I just sleep with underwear. So things tend to probably move a little bit more. But with daytime use, like I just, I really liked these. I will say that I would probably never wear these on a second or third day bleeding. Like I would never wear these by themselves um, if I was heavy or if I was worried about being heavy. These definitely are, like I said, for light medium days. And I would expect that if I was on a medium day that I would have to at least change it out once. But I really did like these. They were really good, especially for as a backup with my Diva Cup. I really liked these as a backup for like a tampon or a Diva Cup. I think these would work great. They washed out really easily. They're soft. Um, like I said, I did notice a little bit more wetness though from these versus the other pads, but I think they were a great price. I think they're well made and I really liked them. The overnight pads definitely win for absorbency. These things were absolutely amazing. I think that I could probably just wear this to bed without fear of bleeding over. Like I would trust these over the Thinx underwear, hands down, if I was just wearing them by themselves on a heavy day. I would definitely like, I would just, I love these. These were really, really great. Like I, I just love them. They were really bulky, but like I said, they were just the same bulk as any overnight super plus pad, which I used to wear at night and I would wear them during the day on my heavy days. So I really, 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 really was impressed with these, how absorbent they were. The fact that even when I soaked them wet with water, when I was washing them, I still couldn't feel the moisture come through on this side. These things were amazing. Like this company, Meroxy or Marxy, or I don't know how to pronounce it, they should make cloth diapers if they don't already because these were amazing. I didn't feel any like weird gross wetness. They didn't have a weird smell. Neither of them really had a weird smell. I really liked these. The only thing I would change about this is have a darker lining right here just because you know, you can see a little bit of staining. Like I said, though, you could probably pre-soak that and you wouldn't have that issue, but I just didn't care. But yeah, I would maybe look for one that doesn't have, doesn't have like a white center. I also, again, love that they came with this nice little wet bag to kind of put your stuff in. Like, I just thought that was really cool. My general consensus is awesome. I think these big super plus ones, again, if you just like to wear pads, you don't like to wear anything inside, these would be great for you. They're super heavy duty absorbent. If you're looking for a backup for, you know, your Diva Cup or your, or your tampons, I think these little panty liners would be great. I do still love my Thinx underwear. I want to keep bringing up other products I've tried just because in case you're wondering. I know I'll get that question at some point of like, well, which one do you prefer, your underwear or these? So I'm just going to go ahead and answer that. I do really love my Thinx underwear still. Here's the thing. I like my Thinx underwear for like those that light day that I had where I didn't know if I was gonna start my period and like the night before I don't know if I'm gonna start my period just because it's comfortable. Um, I know I'm not gonna mess up my sheets. I know I'm not gonna mess up my pants if I'm out and I suddenly start my period. I like that for that reason because I don't have to wear a pad or anything like that for nothing. So I like feeling comfortable in regular underwear um, for those times and I love my Thinx underwear at the end of my period where I'm still kind of just spotting or I'm having like dark brown discharge. Like I love my Thinx underwear for those two times by themselves, but I don't like the Thinx underwear for full bleeding, like full heavy bleeding without a tampon or the Diva Cup. I do not like them because I'm not a person who's gonna change my underwear three times a day. With in tandem with other devices, I love my Thinx underwear all the time, but I do really like the pads for an option of just bleeding it. Like if I don't wanna keep taking my cup in and out or maybe I wanna you know, give my vagina a break, um, I do like these for heavy bleeding by themselves. I think these are just way more absorbent. They're way more comfortable when you're heavy bleeding with nothing else than things underwear. Like, yeah. So, so whether or not I like one over the other, I like them both. 
I think they both serve different purposes. If you're somebody who just likes to wear pads, get these. If, you like, if you're somebody who likes to wear tampons in a diva cup and needs that backup, I would get these. And or the things panties. Honestly, I would do the things panties because then you don't have to worry about having a pad and that uncomfortableness. Um, you know, it's just all it's all just your own taste, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. I like cloth pads. I will definitely be using these. I will definitely like I like them. I really do. I'm very sad that I've been so hesitant and resistant in my life to not try new things. Like I hate that I'm almost 30 and it took me this long to finally get over my like weird phobias or anxieties and try a cup and try reusable cloth pads like I'm so sad it took me so long but I'm excited that I finally tried these things and that I love them and yeah so there is my consensus over these and everything I just think they're great I will be trying some more things in the future for the next periods to come just because I found that these videos seem to be helping a lot of you guys and I feel like these videos are helping take kind of like that taboo and stigma out of periods because ladies even gentlemen who are watching this, this is just life, like I said. This is life. I'm so tired, I'm so tired of people being embarrassed about their periods, their blood leaking through their pants. Like, I'm just tired of it. I'm even tired of people being embarrassed about dirty underwear. My underwear are not clean all the time. I get discharged. I have that weird stuff that happens like the week before my period and a little bit after. Like, you know what, I'm just tired of it. These are bodily functions that everybody just needs to get over. If I have to get over my son and husband and other men's like skid marks in their underwear when I have to do the laundry then guys can, can get over like period blood like in underwear or whatever like just I don't know let's just make periods normal because that's what they are a lot of you guys commented in my last video that you thought it was funny that I was talking about periods and gory blood and all of that in front of my kids while they're in the car with me but honestly that's how you normalize people you know my kids are totally normal around breastfeeding like if somebody pulls their boob out in public they don't gawk they don't say why is a woman's boob out because it's natural to them because i breastfed around them i breastfed them i've talked about breastfeeding like it's natural so that's how i want my kids to feel about periods i want my daughters to feel confident and not scared shitless to have their period at school or to possibly bleed through pants or to feel like it's the end of the world when they do bleed through their pants on accident because every woman i know has gone through it i went through it in junior high i know how traumatizing it can be and it shouldn't be that way you know what i mean i want my girls to grow up confident and comfortable in their body and you know feel like they can talk about their you know menstrual cycles because uh, you know what i've realized is that because it's something that's not talked about a lot of people don't know about endometriosis or pcos or any of those things that make periods so much worse like if we all talked about it we'd all find out that we're all alike you know we all have similar issues we you know don't have to feel so alone or so scared or so alienated so i want my daughters to like live in a world where that's what periods are like you know they're just part of life and my son he may make weird faces all the time but he never says anything and I want him as well to grow up to be a man who is not embarrassed to go get his wife or his sister or his mom tampons or pads well I mean I guess he won't have to because I'll probably introduce them to all this stuff too but I want my son to grow up to be a caring and sensitive man who is not weirded out by periods. I want him to understand his girlfriend's cycle and his wife's cycle or you know just I want him to be like my husband who's not weirded out about going and walking through Target with my diva cup in his hand who's not weirded out when I talk about my bleeding or when I'm on my period and he still finds me attractive even though I have you know a pad sticking out of my underwear I want my son to be that way so yes I'm going to talk about my period in front of him so he finds it to be normal because it is normal so Anyway, so I just wanted to talk about that. That's about it. That's about it. I definitely, I love cloth pads. I think that they're way better than disposable. They're better for the environment, guys. They're better for your health because there's no weird like chemicals in them. They save you money overall because you're reusing them. You're not going out and buying more. You're saving, you know, your trash cans from getting blood all over them. You're saving a lot. You're saving the environment and you're saving your bank account. You know, another thing that I really like about these that I really want to say real quick is I love that they have a snap so they're constantly secure there and that there's no like like my wings sometimes especially if I was running or would sweat a little bit would start to like come off of my underwear and either they would bunch up and I'd get blood on my underwear or I would get the like plastic part like that would adhere to my thighs so I constantly be like unsticking it from my thighs because it would you know like stick there you know you don't have that issue with these because they clip in place and they stay clipped so 
Lots of reasons to love cloth pads, but I'm gonna let you guys go because I feel like this video is longer than normal and longer than normal means more than an hour, so oh god, I hope it's not that long. But if you enjoy videos like this, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below with your experiences with your periods. Let me know what you want me to try next. I have a lot of suggestions for different cups that you guys want me to try. I've got the Luna, the Lunette, the Maluna, there's a lot of Lunas. Um, uh, the Ruby Cup, the Intimina, I think is what it's called. Like I, the Schoon, there's lots of suggestions that I have on a list right now. Right now I think I'm leaning towards the Lunette, I think, or the Luna, whatever cup that is, I might try that next. Uh, but let me know what you guys wanna see. I wanna, you know, I, I want to make this a conversation. I want people to feel comfortable to like see and talk about periods. So um, if there's a product that you've been dying to try, let me know and I will try to search for that and I will try to tackle that in my upcoming periods. So thank you all for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.